Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Dodge with the P0420 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Dodge P0420? Well, it's a catalyst system efficiency bank one. And what does this mean? Well, the catalytic converter needs to run at 95% efficiency or above for the onboard computer to see that it's operating correctly. And if it falls below this, then it'll throw out an error code and say that it's not operating to at least that 95% efficiency. And bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you had a four cylinder, it wouldn't matter. But if you had a V6 or V8, then you would find the number one cylinder. And on that side of the engine would be the problem. So bank one is always the side with the number one cylinder. And so I'm going to go over some of the common causes and fixes of what you could do if you get this error code, because it won't pass emissions. And so the first thing to be aware of is that the catalytic converter, since it's showing a problem with it, that it may be bad, but there's some different things you can do before you go replace it. And the catalytic converter will be located underneath the vehicle. It's on the exhaust and it could, it could have gone bad and it may need to be replaced. But before you do, there's a few things that you can try that may solve the issue. And another thing to be aware of is that a bad oxygen sensor, there's two of them, an upstream and a downstream. If one of these oxygen sensors go bad, then it can cause a problem since this is what the onboard computer is getting its data from. It's getting its information from these two sensors. So if they go bad, then it could be thrown off the data and the catalytic converter could be good. There'll be two of them. There'll be one upstream before the catalytic converter and there'll be a, a second one called the downstream that'll be after the catalytic converter and these these two is what the onboard computer used to read its information or its data. And one thing to be aware of when this when you get this error code is that there could be a problem going on in the engine that's throwing out and clogging up the catalytic converter. If you have like a, a if you have a fuel injector that's not firing right and it's leaking fuel back into the system and it's going out the exhaust, it could be possibly clogging up the catalytic converter and just causing it not to run right. So what a lot of people do is they'll go buy some cleaner uh, like this, this Cataclean. I haven't actually used it, but I have heard good things about these different cleaners and that they work. This isn't the only one. There's different types. I'll put links down below if you, if you want to check out what this is. But basically what they'll do is they'll put this in the fuel. It's a fuel additive. They'll add it in. Then they'll take it out on a freeway or a highway and they'll really rev up the engine and try to blow out that catalytic converter. Because if you drive a vehicle around really slowly, just a city driving like under 40 miles an hour around, it can slowly have buildup inside of that catalytic converter. It never gets blown out. So a lot of people, they'll put this different types of cleaner in there like this Cataclean. They'll take it out on the freeway and they'll drive it like 15, 20 miles and really just rev it up and, and try to blow out anything that's inside of the catalytic converter. They'll clear the 420 code and then hopefully it doesn't come back. Now, if this does work, keep in mind that there, it could come back and that you, you might be getting close to time to change it out that catalytic converter. So it's not a forever fix, but it, it can help. It does help some people go past emission tests and things like this. So it may be something to try. It depends on how badly that catalytic converter is clogged up or if it's just gone completely bad. So if you were to try this and this didn't work, the next thing to do is to go and test out these O2 sensors and be sure and check and see if they're good or bad. There's different ways you could test them if you wanted to. Also, be sure to check out this wiring harness. Uh, quite commonly, something can come underneath a vehicle and it can hit this wiring or because any bad wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So if you have an open, a short, or this connection isn't good going back, then it'll give the same symptoms as a bad sensor. Go, go check these sensors. They're low cost items. They're not very expensive. They can be kind of a pain to change out sometimes, but they're not expensive parts, but you could test these sensors and be sure if they're good or bad. And remember, you have two of them. You have one upstream and one downstream. And so if you check all that and you do everything and you still can't get rid of this code, then more than likely you're going to have to replace and change out the catalytic converters. And these can be kind of a pain to change out sometimes. It just depends how rusted up the bolts are. It, it's mainly, as with anything on the exhaust, if it, it's underneath the vehicle, it's it's got the elements coming at it and everything. So these bolts and stuff like this, they, if they're really rusted up, they can be kind of a pain to swap out. It's a straightforward task. You just jack up the vehicle, you find the catalytic converter, you remove the bolts and bolt in the new one. But the hardest part with these, quite commonly, is just how rusted up it is those bolts are inside of there to how well it comes out. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of what you could do if you had a Dodge with the P0420 code and how you go about fixing it. 
If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.